So on this channel, I've managed to cross over to 230,000 subscribers. First and foremost, thank you so much to everyone that subscribed. But if you're a long-term subscriber, you know that over here, what I do is break down various different tips and tricks to help you guys make money online. And because I've got so many new people that's come to the channel over the past week, two weeks, what I wanna do is break down all of the income sources that I've managed to build up over the years that I've been able to generate over $10,000 from $20,000, $30,000, so on and so forth. So that all of you that are watching this video know exactly what's possible when it comes to using the internet to make money online as a complete beginner. If you enjoy any part of this video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, so jumping straight into one of the initial online sources of income that I was able to successfully build up, which is an e-commerce business. So the way that I did it was that I first and foremost started selling products on eBay and I figured out a way for me to replicate the success that bigger eBay sellers were having. And all I simply needed to do was sell those exact same products. So I built up my eBay store to a certain point and I was able to get to around $50,000 per month, maybe $60,000. And then I started realizing that it made sense for me to diversify my income streams from my e-commerce business. So I started selling those exact same products on Amazon and Shopify. And by doing that, I was able to grow my e-commerce business to over 1.5 million dollars in revenue. Starting this e-commerce business helped me quit my full-time job and it also helped me employ various different people to help me run this business so I didn't really have to put too much focus into it. And the main tip that I wanna give anyone that's watching this video that wants to start an e-commerce business, whether you wanna sell on platforms like eBay, Shopify, Amazon, is to make sure that you're selling an item that people are actually searching for. If you're able to build the foundations of your e-commerce store with evergreen products that you know people are searching for, people need it, and people are going to need it over the foreseeable future, you're gonna be able to increase your chances of being successful when it comes to building a long-term e-commerce brand. All right, so swiftly moving on to the second way that I've been able to earn a source of income, which is a little bit more passive than the other ways that I make money online, which is with investment income. And the way that this works is that every single time I get paid from any one of my different income streams, I move the money from that online business into into my personal bank account and then from there I automatically invest it into various different index funds and the main index fund that I'm investing into at the moment and the most popular one is the S&P 500. Now for those of you that have never heard of the S&P 500 before it's basically the top 500 performing companies in the US which means that by investing into this particular fund you're able to own a share of all of these individual companies. So whenever any of them do well, you're gonna be able to benefit from that appreciation. And the main reason why I prefer to invest into these types of particular funds, rather than putting all of my money into, let's say, crypto, is because over the last 100 years, if you kept your money in something like the S&P 500, you wouldn't have necessarily had a loss. Yeah, there might have been some ups and downs along the way, but your money would have grown over time. So that's the main reason why I feel comfortable investing into funds like this, rather than leaving all my money in a normal bank account for it to lose value due to inflation and other things. And the benefit to investing into something like the S&P 500 as well is that not only are you going to benefit from the fact that it's going to rise in value over time but you're also going to be able to earn a dividend every quarter I believe so every three months you're going to be able to earn a dividend payout from all of the different companies depending on how much you invest it could be a decent amount of money okay guys so moving on to the third income stream that I've been able to build up over the years which is by building up YouTube income. So I think it's no surprise that I enjoy building up YouTube channels. I've got this one and I've got some other ones that I'm building up as well. But the benefit to starting up a YouTube channel is that you're gonna be able to earn money through various different ways. But one of the most popular ways is with YouTube AdSense. So every single time that you see an ad being played on a video, the person that owns that channel has earned a portion of that ad revenue. So this is definitely a great way to build up a passive source of income because the more work, effort, and dedication that you have when it comes to creating really good content, the more money that you're potentially going to make. So the main tip that I wanna give any beginner out there that's thinking about starting a YouTube channel is to first and foremost, have the belief that it's possible to achieve. One of the main questions that I get all the time from you guys, whether it's in the comments down below or in my Instagram DMs is, Sam, is it really possible to still be successful 
successful with a YouTube channel? Isn't it saturated? Isn't it going to be difficult to be seen and get views? And yes, of course, there is a lot more channels now than there was, let's say, five, six years ago. But you always need to remember that when it comes to creativity, there's no one else that has your mind, your thoughts and the way that you're going to make your videos. So even though YouTube might be saturated, it doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to figure out what you need to do and what type of videos you need to make to be successful. Well, this is something that I've managed to do anyway. Like, for example, with this channel, I've been able to grow from zero to over 230,000 subscribers by number one, believing that it was possible. Number two, making sure that I was consistent. And number three, putting out the best content possible for all of my viewers. All right, so moving on to the fourth income stream that I've managed to build up over the years, which is probably one of the best ones for anyone that isn't really looking to show their face on camera or even use their own voice, which is blogging. So building blog websites is definitely a great way to make money online. And again, just like with all of the other methods, it is going to require some sort of patience and it's definitely not a get rich quick scheme because you're gonna have to write all of the articles yourself, especially at the beginning, and you're also going to have to understand everything that goes into building the best type of website possible. Now, one of the main questions that I get when it comes to building a blog website is, Sam, how exactly do you make money? Where does the money come from? And how exactly am I going to be able to earn a decent source of income with a blog website? Well, there's so many different ways that you can do it. You can do it with something called Google AdSense, which is basically where you're going to be able to sign up to the Google AdSense program. And from there, you're going to be able to place ads on all of your different articles on your website. The second way that you're gonna be able to make money is by selling your own products and services. And you can also earn money by doing affiliate marketing, which I'm gonna to touch a little bit later on at the end of this video. But I would say that the main benefit to building up a blog website is that not only are you gonna be able to make money as you're putting out articles from all of the different methods that I just said. But if you build your website in the right way from day one, then you're also gonna have the option to possibly sell it in the future. This is a key thing that you guys need to make sure that you bear in mind when it comes to making money online and starting any type of online business, which is that you wanna have the mindset of being able to potentially sell that online business in the future. This is something that I do with every single method of making money online. Because of course, yes, it's very important to be able to earn source of income right now because we've all got bills to pay for we've all got rent mortgages healthcare, childcare, food etc whatever it is but at the same time you also want to give yourself the option to be able to get a large lump sum of money from this thing that you've been putting effort into day after day week after week month after month okay so on to the fifth income stream that i'm going to talk about that i've managed to build up over the years which is by selling digital products so at the moment i've got various different digital products that i've personally built myself whether it's e books, whether it's online courses, whether it's PDFs, selling all throughout the internet in various different ways. The main reason why I love digital products is because you don't necessarily have to physically fulfill them like what you have to do with an e-commerce business. So once you build it once and you've made sure that it's the best quality, you're going to be able to automatically sell that digital product on the internet without you having to physically send it to the person that bought it, which obviously means that you're going to be able to earn a decent amount of passive income by doing this. Now, of course, different types of digital products require different types of incomes that you guys need to bear in mind, which obviously means that there's a great opportunity to generate a decent amount of passive income if you're able to build a really good digital product. Now, bear in mind that when it comes to all of the different types of digital products that are out there, some of them could take many months to build, some of them could take weeks or some of them could take days, it all depends. But one thing that I can guarantee with majority of the digital products that people are buying right now is that they're buying it from someone that has some sort of expertise within that particular niche. So if you want to be successful when it comes to selling these type of products, you just need to make sure that you've got some sort of advanced knowledge than the common person with a particular niche or a particular topic. Like for example, with myself right now, I've got digital products that teach people how to build businesses on eBay. I've got digital products that teach people how to be successful when it comes to building businesses on Shopify, affiliate marketing. I've got various different types of digital products out there because I've managed to make millions of dollars by doing all of these different online businesses which means that I'm going to be able to teach people in the best way possible and this actually now brings me on to income stream number six which is by building up email newsletters now one of the most common questions that I get all the time is Sam what exactly is an email newsletter how does it work and how exactly can someone make money from them so at the moment right now I've personally got around three different newsletters in three different 
categories and I'm sending out emails on a regular basis. And if you are someone that is considering to monetize a newsletter, you just need to make sure that you understand that you're gonna have to provide a lot of free value first. When it comes to majority of the different content businesses that are out there, whether it's YouTube channels, blog websites, email newsletters, social media, wherever it is, first and foremost, as the person that is looking to build up that online business, you need to have the mindset of giving people as much free value as possible. And once you've given out as much free value as possible, at that point, that's when you're now gonna be able to monetize it using various different methods. One of the first ways that a few people monetize their newsletters is by charging a monthly fee for people to receive the emails that they're sending out. Now, this isn't something that I necessarily do with my email newsletters because I prefer people to subscribe for free and read my emails if they want to. But if if you did want to go down this route then it's a great way to build up recurring income that's going to get paid into your bank account every single month another common way that you're going to be able to monetize an email newsletter is by selling your own products and services because you've got direct communication to the person that's giving you their email address and you've also built up that trust because you've sent that person information that's helped them out in one way shape or form if you now promote a product that you've now built or some sort of service that you want to offer there's a chance that you're going to be able to sell it to a percentage of the people that's on that email list. And this actually now brings me on to the final income stream that I'm gonna talk about, which is affiliate commissions. So over the past three or four years, I've managed to build up a steady stream of income that gets paid into my bank account every month passively by building up affiliate commissions. And for those of you that are watching right now thinking about Sam, how exactly does this work and what exactly is an affiliate commission? Well, this is done through an online business model called affiliate marketing, where essentially you're gonna be able to sign up to an affiliate program, you're gonna get a unique affiliate link. And when someone clicks on that affiliate link, you're gonna be able to earn a commission if that person buys that product or service that you didn't have to build, you don't have to deal with any customer service, and you don't have to fulfill the product that the person purchased. Your only job is to give the right person the affiliate link and if they buy it you're going to be able to sit back and make money and the main ways that i like to do affiliate marketing is with all of the different methods that i've spoken about in this video today which is with youtube channels blog websites and building up email lists and of course social media and out of all of the different money making methods that i've spoken about in today's video when it comes to getting started as a beginner affiliate marketing could be the easiest because you don't really need to invest that much money when it comes to getting started it's all about understanding the best strategy to use as a beginner when you first get started from day one. So if you wanna watch a completely free webinar where I break down the key things that I had to learn when it came to me going from zero to over $100,000 in profit with my affiliate marketing business, then you're gonna be able to watch that free webinar by clicking the first link in the description down below. And if you've enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe as well, hit the bell notification. And if you wanna watch another YouTube video that I made recently where I break down some of the key things that you need to know as a beginner when it comes to starting affiliate marketing so that you're gonna be able to understand exactly what goes into it and the first steps that you need to take, you're gonna be able to watch that video by clicking the link right there. Make sure you check that out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and i'm sure that it's going to help you out too all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace